It is the 11th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net tonight. Uh, USGS reporting multiple earthquakes, magnitude 8.6 and 8.2 off the west coast of Sumatra. Uh, they have issued tsunami warnings. Uh, I saw reports of the tsunami was about 30 inches high or, or about two and a half feet, um, so it wasn't a major tsunami, doesn't cause any damage or anything, but uh, definitely something to look out for. And there. Where was the other one? April snow swiftly takes over areas of Romania. It has snowed in some areas of Romania in the last 24 hours, and traffic was hindered on the roads uh, in the northern area of the country. Some local roads have been closed, uh, still getting snow up there. They've had an extreme winter as well. Uh, they're rerunning the story. Tokyo soil samples would be considered nuclear waste in the United States. Of course it is. And that's about all new they got going on tonight. Over to the watchers. Uh, China is entering the, the third year of an extreme drought. Parts of China are entering the third year of an extreme drought that has affected more than 7.8 million people and about 4.6 million livestock. Uh, more than 2 million are st struggling for access to clean drinking water and, may ha and many having to travel many miles each day just to fill jugs with water. More than 4 million hectares of cropland have been hit by the drought leading to millions of dollars in losses to the farmers. Uh, so they're definitely dealing with some extremities up there as well. Here's an insane story out of New Zealand. Proposed natural health products bill in New Zealand would fine individuals $50,000 for making a cup of unapproved herbal tea. You're going to we want you to eat, you're not even allowed to make this stuff for yourself, let alone try to sell these products uh, without going through proper channels. Uh, CME, CME activity continues. We got a 30% chance of a geomagnetic storm. The aurora, the pretty, pretty lights in the north, north, and the south, south. And uh, areas downstream of Nevado del Ruz on preventative red alert. This is in Colombia. Authorities declared a red alert in areas downstream of the volcano Sunday amid growing concerns an eruption is imminent. And unexplained ice melting at the Askja crater in Crater Lake in Iceland. Um, normally, this lake doesn't thaw till uh, June or July, and all the craters around it are still frozen solid. But uh, there's definitely some geothermal activity, or they're guessing, uh, going on at the bottom of this crater volcano. So uh, something else definitely to keep an eye on. Over to the RSOE. Of course, they have the Indonesia earthquake and all the tsunami warnings up. Um, they're still dealing with the extreme weather in Argentina, the cleanup after that big mess. Um, where was the other one? Extreme weather in India and in Tipura. And they have some, uh, they're reporting at least seven people uh, died from lightning strikes uh, due to severe thunderstorms out there. Uh, they got a report of a giant wave impact off the coast of New Zealand. Uh, apparently a fishing boat was capsized by a big road wave. And uh, they did find one survivor. And uh, Catla Volcano is on the RSOE again. They're saying seismic activity is gearing up. Uh, definitely keep an eye on Catla. Uh, which is overdue, of course. And uh, the last time Catla went off, they called it... Um, actually, they were ice skating on the mouth of the Mississippi River. It got that cold. And uh, flash flooding out of Haiti. They've had like three days of torrential rains. And of course, Haiti's clear cut all their forests. Uh, so they have severe mud flow problems. Um, some people were killed, of course. And uh, they say about 700 people displaced. But the United Nations has got them taken care of. Uh, definitely look into what's going on in Haiti for real if you want to see what's going to happen in the FEMA camps. Uh. Flash flooding in the Philippines, of course they got severe weather. And that's about all new 
climate change I've got going on today. Let's go ahead and take it over to the nuclear stuff. E&E &E News. Nuclear expert spent fuel pool number four likely to shatter or collapse on its side in a major 7.0 earthquake. Um, yeah, we've been watching this thing lean for months. And uh, if that thing falls over, we're all truly, truly in trouble. Another magnitude 8.2, uh, they're covering the, the Indonesia um, quake stories. I got a radio program on units 3 and 4, Fukushima. Uh, while Northern Hemisphere at risk right now, st storm, of an, storm of an international worry, we don't have to totally panic. There's a possibility we may luck our way through this. <laughs> a station owned by Clear Channel, and there's an audio on that. Arnie Gunderson's uh, speaking up again. Fuel pool number three, worse off than number four. Mechanically, it's rubble. The pool is rubble. Nobody has even gotten near it. And that's a fact. We've seen uh, total collapse of the fuel pool number three. I mean, they've got all kinds of debris and everything else in there. No telling what's really going on. Japanese journalist reveals possible thyroid disease, wonders if caused by radiation, continuous health problems since visiting Fukushima Daiichi. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Professor finds black dust at four locations in uh, Koryama, up to nine microsieverts per hour, only measuring gamma radiation. These things are highly, highly radioactive particles uh, because they're burning this stuff in open incinerators. Where's all this black particles coming from? It's the ash. San Francisco Bay Area milk sample has highest amount of cesium-137 since June. Almost double the EPA's maximum contam contaminant level. Uh, where are the reports out on that on the mainstream news? And, uh, yeah, that's about all new they've got going on tonight. Uh, there was one story on the e EXSKF blog site I wanted to cover. Tokyo Metropolitan Government is now the largest shareholder of TEPCO. It has been revealed that the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, who was one-third largest shareholder of TEPCO, is now the largest shareholder. So they've dumped all their crap and they've thrown it on the people. And uh, you are forced to clean up their mess. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Enjoy what you can. We'll see you later.